Hey guys, welcome back to another week of OU Life Group. I'm so glad that you are here and I'm so glad that you have chosen to be a part of our kingdom work um, as we continue in our series called Citizen. We have been talking a lot about identity over the past couple of weeks and what it looks like to live as a follower of Jesus and how that relates to the world around us. So I wanted to focus on the last part of verse 9 of 1 Peter 2, 9 through 10. So this is where we see that God is calling us out of darkness and into God's marvelous light. So I want you to think about a time that you have been called out for something. Maybe it was for having your head down during class. Maybe it was a parent that thought that you had a rude tone or were being sarcastic or something. Maybe it was a sibling that called you out and embarrassed you and made fun of you. Um, Just think about one of those times and how you felt after that. Did you feel embarrassed? Did you get upset? Did you get defensive about it? How do you feel when you are called out by someone? Now, I don't know about you, but the people who call me out on things are always my parents or my brother or sister. They know me the best, and so they know when something is out of character for me. So because we're so close and we know each other so well, they feel like they have the authority to call me out on things and embarrass me or make fun of me about stuff all the time. And I wonder if you feel the same way, if that happens in your family or in your friend groups. Um, It happens all of the time. And I would say that in this verse, when we see that God is calling us out of darkness, it's because God has this intimate and close relationship with us as well. When somebody calls us out for something, it means that they see something in us that maybe could be better. So if somebody's calling you out for having a rude or sarcastic tone, they know that maybe you could treat them with a little more respect. They know that you could do better next time, I guess. Um, And so that is what's happening here. God is calling us out of darkness into light because God knows what is the best route for us to take. And when we think about darkness, I don't know about you, but when I think about darkness, it seems like this kind of looming, ominous thing. It feels like when we're living in sin, that we're living in the big S sin. So lying or cheating or different things like that, um, it feels like it's just this overwhelming thing that maybe can be hard to grasp sometimes. But I would argue that darkness doesn't necessarily mean that there is an absence of light. It means that we're simply not allowing the space for the light to come in. So think about when you're sitting in a dark room and you have a lamp or a light switch in the room and you are not turning it on, you're just sitting in darkness. But then if you go to turn the light on, you have the authority to do that. So you get to decide what, um, when you want to let the light into the room. And it's similar to this verse. So when God is calling us out of darkness and into light, it means that we have to make space for that light to come in. So I want to ask you, what in your life feels all consuming? Maybe like the darkness that this verse is talking about. And where can you let the light in, in your life? Take some time to think about that and talk about that with your life group.